Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect the DTX smartwatch with Android and Fed Cloud Pro app. Let's begin here immediately by opening the app. As you can see, we already installed it. We have here three pages down below, home, device and mine. At the second page, device we should unbind the last device that we connected with this app and press add new device press search and you can see immediately we have smartwatch in the first position the dtx bluetooth name is smartwatch so as you can see it already is connected if you go ahead and press for example find band as you can see it vibrates immediately and it let us know that it's connected also, we can see that in the taskbar at the connection sign. So this is all that it takes to connect the DTX with Android. So let's go back at the first page where we can find the statistic for steps today, week or month statistic. We have steps, kilometer and other information as burn calories and distance, etc. Same with sleep. As you can see, we have average sleep, deep sleep, light sleep. We have heart rate, highest average and lowest, also the last heart rate that we measured. And same with blood pressure. We have the last blood pressure, highest average and lowest, and blood oxygen as well. As you can see, the same theme and the same options as well. The ACG is in the last position where we can see the last ACG that we measured with statistic and it shows our heart rate how it went. Also, we can press start or we can start all of them at the first. Uh, at the same time, we have here notifications that we have to allow in the settings for Fed Cloud Pro app. And now we will get notifications from the apps. We have alarms that we can set, activity reminder, drink reminder, and we have the dial settings where we can uh, download more dials or faces and change them how many times we want. Usually this takes not too much time, so it's very fun and easy thing to do. Personally, I like to change my face in the watches each day. So it looks like a brand new watch, as you can see, when it's downloading, it will take more time to synchronize it. And now that it's done, we have a brand new watch and it looks pretty good. So this is all that it takes to change the face in the DTX, which is very easy. Also, we can customize it. After we download it, we have the weather report, race to wake, elevate heart rate, automatic heart, uh, health monitoring, fine band, wrist preparation, hour style, shake photograph, device, restore factory settings, and unbind at the end. And mine, at the third page, we have the profile, Google Fit, exercise goal unit, we run settings, suggestion, and we have question at the FAQ. So this is all that we have in the FitCloud Pro with DTX. If you find this video interesting and helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video with another smart device.